Okay, so this project I've heard for, funny enough, kind of a long time. However, just pulling up the chart shows that this is only released five days ago. So maybe it just launched, but the, I but when I heard about it a while ago, it was just in its, I guess, pre-launch phase. So this kind of rather interesting or odd project, uh, I don't quite understand what they're doing but it does appear that they're very good at actual cross-chaining all right uh, so I don't know actually I'm just kind of curious how many Twitter followers all right they have like a whatever here uh, okay okay the Genesis pools are open and so are the LP pools oh okay so that's why the total value lock seems kind of off so these are still active then. Oh, okay. So that's where all the TVO is. So 2% here. So let me guess. All the TVL, yeah, there's a 45 k in here, which pays you practically no money. That's hilarious. So all the money is actually in MIM and AVAX, funny enough. Also paying almost nothing. And they are producing paper. So daily APR... Because obviously this is a brand new project, so I want to write eight percent to forty percent APR daily APR. Okay. <clears throat> Does it say how long this will run? Oh, man, I was kind of hoping to avoid reading the documentation, but I guess I'm about to read the documentation. Uh, da 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 da. Okay, don't care. There's an investment fund. Uh, I, yeah, I guess. Carrier bridge, community pools, paper ink LP, and single state paper pool. Uh, I don't think that's even live right now. Oh, it is actually live. 7%. Okay. So I'll write 7% to 40% daily APR printer. Uh, okay. Alright, so they're not printing too much paper, so that's good. Yeah, so if I remember correctly, this thing will always... So what makes this project different is it will always print. There's no peg on this. That's another thing. Yeah, it says right here. Cross-chain protocol. I think it might actually... No, technically Rip Egg can claim that because they're cross-chain. I don't know if they can bridge, though. If they can't bridge, then this is actually the first true cross-chain protocol. Rather than being paid to a native token, paper is free to travel across any chain. Uh, no cost, no fees, no taxes. Uh, which is funny because it literally just says right here it's a 5% transfer tax. <laughs> I, don't, I don't plan on investing in this just yet, so, you know, I don't know. I guess you could just look at their documentation. My stupid camera's covering it, but it's on the upper right corner here. Crushing will allow you to take advantage of the price differentials between uh, different chains. So basically you can try to arbitrage things. Stick your paper, AVAX, blah, 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 and earn more paper. So again, there's no peg. I'm going to, I'm, I'm pretty sure, because that was, that, because that's actually the thing. I think that's what I actually said. This was d a dumb idea. Believe it or not, it may not be such a dumb idea after all. After seeing all the team forces blow up, what might actually be better is just have no peg. So that way the shares will always be worth something. Because that's actually what causes the death loop. You fall below peg and then your shares stop printing which drives down demand that people just abandon ship and then you have a death spiral. But if your if your board room is always printing, right, then your shares will always have to be worth something because it's like, hey, you know what? I'll just keep buying shares. So I can keep printing more and more worthless paper. And based on actually, I actually will link to this page. And based on this, this is actually really good. They deliberately made sure to not print that much freaking paper. That I like. They're keeping their inflation low. So, okay. I guess we're going to have to check for smart APR system. Actually, maybe I should invest in this. Oh, man, I have too many projects. And, like, I actually had to raid a little bit of my rent money. All right? And the, reason, the only reason why I did that was because Eris... Not Eris. I keep calling it Eris. Sphere is launching, hopefully, sometime today. All right? Sim said he only got four hours of sleep in the announcement. So... And people were giving him death threats because the freaking public sale went to shit yesterday. So, yeah, but uh, that's just how it goes. 
Uh, 33.6 KTVL, okay. This has a lot less, so the APR is, if I doubled this, this would be 20%. Double that again, it'd be 20K, it'd be down at 10%, 20K. Yeah, this is using smart APR system. The only reason why this is so much higher is obviously the TVL is practically nothing. In fact, what's the price of shares? The shares aren't even that expensive at 40 bucks. Okay, this is what? Inc. AVAX? Wait, what's the other one? Ink paper. Oh, this is ink paper. This is the hybrid. If you want to do both, this is the this is the actual ink AVAX LP, which is over here. So they kind of switched it a little. And of course, the single staking here. So very little. So they actually prior did correctly. So eh, I don't have to necessarily say correctly, but they did prioritize obviously these two. Actually, maybe the documentations uh, told me. Oh, so that's called Kronos. Okay, I was wondering what that other symbol was. I couldn't remember. Um, okay. Paper. Yeah, they really... Uh, uh, okay, so staking rewards are over 12 months, but the investment fund and developers, site operators is over 6 months. Okay. And these are just links to whatever is live. Okay. <clears throat> what am I looking? I'm looking for the reward distribution if I can find it. Community pools? No. Spent fun. No. Oh, okay. So yeah, I just had to just calculate it. But I think they should be using the smart APR system. So I think it's good enough. And I think technically it may not matter anyway, fun funny enough, because it'll just keep printing, doesn't matter. <laughs> so, all right, I mean, they're already at 84.2K circulating supply, so, all right. I don't know, what do I really want to try to play this project? I mean, it is kind of tempting, but money, again, is just so tight. You know, plus I would have to manually do everything. Hmm, okay. So let's see. This is the boardroom. Uh, there's not going to be printing anything for 49 hours, basically. It also doesn't tell you how long you're stuck in here for, if at all. Uh, this is the actual bridge. So right now you can do Binance Smart Chain and Phantom, which is funny because is Phantom even live? It doesn't even go to Fan. Oh, Phantom is live. Oh, okay, I didn't actually know that. So Phantom is actually live. And there's actually different prices across different chains. Wow. Okay. I thought this was the main thing, but it actually the Phantom one is the main one. Okay, so they actually just launched AVAX probably. Also not getting the real number here. And total value locked is pretty good here. Okay. So this is actually kind of interesting. I can't be playing all those links. So I think what I'll do is I'll just put a link to each each of the uh, blockchains. Okay. And I know Binance Smart Chain was live. Uh, so I got to go over here. Yeah, I keep getting the MetaMask pop up to switch chains. So this is actually interesting. Yeah, you can totally bridge everything uh, from all over the place. So it does look like the actual price of paper is actually stable at 37 cents for now. But the, but you got to really be careful of the shares because they really are very different prices. Now AVAX makes sense because I didn't actually realize it until just now. So AVAX cross-chain just launched basically. So once that's stable, once that's stable and smooth and run, up and running, they're probably going to go into Kronos next, which is what this symbol, I think, yeah, you can see on my mouse what this symbol is. So basically, just take your pick of which blockchain you want to be on, which is funny enough. Are you, funny enough, I'd rather just be on Binance Smart Chain, believe it or not, right? Because AVAX is going to be shit until Kravata Game uh, goes to their stupid subnet at the end of this month, assuming all goes well. Phantom, of course, is a cursed blockchain, right? That's what I told everyone in the Elite Discord, because everything just... Not only... that's what, Phantom blockchain is where projects go to die, 
All right, that's literally w w what I said about Phantom. All right, and I stole I modif I stole that quote from LoopNet. All right, because I still want to do commercial real estate someday. And the word in commercial real estate and real estate uh, brokers, they all say LoopNet is where you go, is where pro is where real estate deals go to die. <laughs> So I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna stick with the uh, with this because I really like AVAX. I still like it a lot, right? Especially because right now this thing is printing like mad. So, yeah. All right, so that's kind of interesting. So you actually have a very interesting choice to choice to make. Which blockchain are you gonna go on, right? Uh, if I uh, if I do invest in this, I would definitely do paper AVAX. So believe it or not, let's actually take a look. Uh. This is the cross chain, okay? Because I'm only gonna do, I'm only gonna show the AVAX chart. There's no way I'm gonna like get all the other charts. That's just gonna be too much work. Not to mention it's gonna really like confuse the hell out of you in your YouTube description. But that is something that you really should add here is like the charts too. Uh, so let me see. I want to go to their staking pools. All right, let's take a look here. Okay, paper BNB. So they're linking themselves to BNB. Interesting. Uh, five percent daily. Well, this is definitely better than Ninja. That's for sure. Fourteen K TVL. Fifteen K. Uh, so they're kind of, sort of. Oh, that's Ink Paper because they keep reversing things. So they are actually using the Smart APR system. Okay, so they are still using a Smart APR system. I'm not gonna bother checking with Phantom. But, yeah, I kind of like this, actually. Hmm. You know, as much as I want to go on AVAX, I'll probably... Actually, it would still be better for me to do AVAX. So I could take advantage of the temporary high APR systems, right? Uh, I really don't want to pay more, though, for... Hmm. Oh, yeah. This is actually kind of difficult, because I actually don't know what I would actually... Uh what I actually would want to do here. <laughs> I actually don't know what to do here. Hmm. I don't know. I'll, I'll take a look after. But anyway, this is a very interesting project. Like, they really are the first... Let me switch over to AVAX. They really are the first cross-chain. And of course, it looks like you can only move over paper, of course, not the shares. Which I think, you know, makes a lot of sense. Okay, so what was this paying? 8.87%. So when all is settled, you should get like 5% daily. So that's actually not bad. That's actually not bad. Yeah, and the price is still 38 cents. So it does look like the price is pretty stable. So you might actually be able to get real returns here. So maybe this could work for, you know, price stability perhaps. No peg. It's, it's, just, it's, it's, just, it's, it's just is, right? Just like God. And I guess Satan, too. They just are, right? They're, they'll be there forever. Forever and ever and ever. Um, so, yeah, I actually would... Yeah, so I'm actually kind of interested in buying just a small position in this because I didn't actually realize this will be a very s seemingly stable project. But, again, I think the best option would be for me to do Binance Smart Chain. You know, just to get something stable. All right, plus I could... I could maybe pull a little bit of profit from whatever small Titano and liberal finance positions that I have. Come up with like 40 bucks or something and then just go into, let me see, what is it again? Oh, no, I'm talking about Binance Smart Chain. Oh, I don't feel like switching. But yeah, I remember, it's going to be like, so I get 5% daily. It's actually not a bad, it's not too bad. And I'll just compound like once a day or twice a day or whatever, just set and forget. Of course, I mean, I'll have to have another tab open in my Chrome, but I mean, I'll give it a shot. I'll see. Uh, I'll see what it, uh, what will happen. So, definitely check out Printer Financial, a no-peg actual cross-chain protocol that does smart APR system. I mean, they're already a much better project than Ripe, right? So, because again, Ripe does not do the smart APR system. So. I'm, I haven't checked up on them in a long time, but I wouldn't be surprised if they're doing like shitty price uh, price action wise. So, but yeah, that's the other thing too. Maybe the way for a team fork to actually go is just don't bother with a stupid peg, right?
Because the utility really comes from these two tokens doing, you know, what they normally do. So if you remove the peg, right, the peg requirement, then they're always just going to keep doing what they're doing. I think that might actually be, you know, kind of nice. So, so I'm trying to think. <laughs> I'm trying to think about Poseidon Black, right? Because we're still doing the beta. And notice I haven't done a video on it, and that's because, you know, we're just going to... Because it's... Technically, there's still bugs on it, so I kind of don't want to be putting that out there. But we're actually making kind of money with it. But, it, I don't know, we still encounter all sorts of problems. And then we recently had a, you know, rogue developer steal money by dumping basic tokens. The, the beta test peg token. Alright? Uh, but luckily, the dev... That went rogue. Just gave back all uh, gave back all the money because he felt guilty. So we got really lucky there. So you know, there's a lot of shit that they have to like go through, right? So anyway, yeah. So let's say so you could still have your reward pools, but the difference is the shares, the basic shares that you have, would just keep printing. It's like it just would ignore the peg. That's actually kind of nice, actually. Just ignore the peg. So the shares would always be worth something, and then sure, your peg token could be, uh, you know, a little too much. But that, but uh, as long as you know you set your inflation rate to something really low, you're actually always. This might actually be the. This might be. This might actually be the way to fix tomb forts. This might actually be the way to, whatever. So. Yeah, I thought I was going to end this video, but we have to actually look at the tax system because it's completely confusing. Because because they contradict themselves here. They say there's no tax, no nothing, and then it says there's a 5%... Oh, there's a 5% transfer tax on the shares. What? Okay, I'm in bridge... Okay, here's the printer. Oh, I think I get it. Oh, jeez. All right, hold on. Let's go over to let's go over to Binance Smart Chain real quick. Let's go to the bridge over here. Uh, well, it's still paper. Okay, well, I I don't know. I I don't know. I guess there's a five percent. I don't know. I guess you would transfer ink from one wallet address to another, but you're still staying on the same blockchain because you can only cross transfer paper for now. I don't know. I guess I'll have to figure it out, but I'm not doing the shares anyway. I'm just doing the base token. So, yeah, I'm kind of curious. How would this actually work? It would always print. And then, because there's no peg, when these shares run out of whatever uh, shares after 12 months, It'll always just keep printing this. So there will always be a demand for the shares. Which means there will always be a demand for the base token. Because in order to get more... Sh well, you won't be printing any more shares. I guess they could add a layer 2 at that point, right? Hmm. Well, I guess I wouldn't have to worry about it for 12 months, right? We don't have to worry about it for 12 months. Well, on top of that, you can shift your paper over to, like, every other cross-chain that they expand into. Because it's pretty obvious that they already have the cross... I haven't tried the bridging yet, obviously, on this. Because I have to switch over back again. I haven't done the cross-chain on this, obviously, because I literally have just... I have no idea about this project. Like, you're learning exactly at the same time I'm learning. So, which is why I like doing videos in this format. I don't actually like to do too much pre-research. I want to do it live. For the, so, again, you can see my actual thought process. Because not only is that more authentic, but more importantly, it allows me and you to see how you should see things for what they really are. Right? Because I had no idea Pulse Dial was going to rug. But I also just was never in their Discord or anything. I just assumed everything would have been fine. I'm sure if I were in their Discord, I would start spotting signs. And the number one sign would be, are they banning a lot of people? Are they angry all the time? It's like, there's something wrong. I also only invested like 120 whatever bucks in it or something. And then I pulled profit, of course, a little bit. So I didn't really care, right? So, you know, but... 
Yeah, I don't know why I went into that, but um, me personally, I'm probably going to actually, after I upload this video, I'm going to actually put like 40 bucks into the Binance Smart Chain version of this, because fuck Phantom. I still like it, but it's just got like, it's again, it's just got too many, it's just got too many problems. It's like, I can't stand it, right? You know, because, I mean, we can thank Phantom for creating Tomb Forks, essentially, but they're also the reason why they're going down. Right? Because everyone's just losing confidence in it all. So, whatever. But, with that being said, what's funny is we have three blockchains, soon to be a four, because they're probably going to go on Kronos next, right? Uh, after AVAX uh, is up and running, right? But, you know, this might be the solution. Just have no peg. Just, who gives a shit? Just have the pools so people still have to buy the tokens. Everyone gets uh, is happy. But th that basically means the board room will always keep printing. Which means the shares, again, will always be worth something. Which means you'll always enjoy your APRs up until the point where it runs out of shares. Right? In which case, the shares could still be valuable because you're still going to need them for the boardroom. Because it's just going to print no matter what. Right? So basically, you're essentially creating like a very safe, you know, stable coin like etc. type of project. And then at that point, you have to hope that the treasury, or they call it an investment fund in this project, you know, does what it's supposed to, right? And then just like those buybacks of the base paper token in this case. But at least you have options, right? You have options. I personally think that the best way so far, based on what I know, to run a tomb fork is to just have taxes on everything, just like Titano Forks, so you could stop uh, Super Predators right where in their tracks, or they stupid enough to try it, you get all their money, right, through the tax system. Uh, and number two, and it really balloons your treasury. And then number two, have no peg. So basically, you just become a central bank. So, because remember, central banks, when they issue money, there's no taxes for them. Right, and they print forever. They don't care. <laughs> so why don't why don't we do the same thing? Except we make people pay pay the tax instead of ourselves, and we can print as much as we want, no matter what. Right? Hence, why they call themselves Printer Financial. All right. So I'm actually sold on this project. I'm gonna put like forty bucks in Binance Smart Chain because that's all I can afford right now. I technically go on Phantom and do it there, but. I don't know, man. I am so sick and tired of effing Phantom. All right, and what could I sell? I mean, I have, I actually do have a, I do, I don't know. I really want to build on my Poseidon. All right, I'm just gonna do buy a smart chain. Whatever. I'm just not gonna deal with it. Okay. So I'll see you in the next video. It might take a little bit, and it's gonna be at the meter find on farm an Avax Titano fork. Um, I don't know, like. I guess I'll give it the same treatment as I did Caesar Finance and just wait it out a couple of weeks because I I need to see more developers. That's that's the main problem. They have a smaller team than Caesar. That's already like a turnoff. And on top of that, there's still the standard rug pull risk. But maybe some of you guys want to just try to get in on the whitelist or whatever. So because I don't, I honestly just don't care. So you you truly get a freebie for me. So oh bye. Thank you for the few few of you that have been joined through my liberal finance referral link so hopefully uh there'll be some money for me to claim all right so <laughs> well, well we'll see but yeah definitely check out printer financial pick and choose whatever blockchain you want all right i'm going to personally go into binance smart chain all right because i just don't want to deal with all these the, i need something that works it's still relatively cheap and i don't have to deal with a stupid crobata game hogging the fees or phantom being a shit a cursed shit blockchain Right, so Binance Smart Chain is the is my is my personal choice for me. Obviously, you guys and gals will just do whatever. Uh, I don't know. I guess we'll leave this as the thumbnail, right? See you next video. Thanks for watching. Oh, and like, subscribe, share, blah 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 blah. Let's try to get this channel up to like eleven and twelve hundred subs, because again, I'm a numbers guy. Obviously, I, I I love the video game of just getting more numbers.